Our next guest shares her travel adventures with her family on social media in hopes of inspiring other black families with children to do the same. Joining us this morning is travel vlogger Monet Hambrick. Good morning, Monet. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. Thank you for having me. Which part of the world do you join us from this morning? Miami, Florida. You're in Kingston 21. Okay, okay. It's good to have you. Um, your, your love of travel started early. Let's start there. When were you bitten by the travel bug? Well, I am first generation American to two Jamaican born parents. So I had a passport from I was young because we were always going back and forth to Jamaica. Um, and my family was always just taking road trips to different places. I would say for me though, the real travel bug hit me when I was in high school. I got a scholarship through this program called Experiments in International Living. And I actually went to Botswana and I lived with the host family for a summer, learned about their culture. They treated me just like their child, their foods, every single thing. And for me, that's when I truly knew that travel would be a part of my life forever. Yeah. And so you've made it a part of your life and you've started to document it. I know you have 100,000 plus people looking at your family pictures. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a serious album, right? Um, yes. Why did you decide to start the, the, the page? Tell me a little bit about that. Actually, it was my friend Paula. It was her recommendation. I actually told her it was a stupid idea. I said, who would want to follow this? She was like, but you're traveling with your daughters. It was actually after I had my second daughter. I was on maternity leave. Um, she was eight weeks old and we were going to be going to Colombia to visit Medellin and Cartagena when I was on maternity leave. And she had seen me travel with my older daughter, daughter Jordan. And she was like, you should share this. There are so many parents that think once they have kids, travel is over for them or, you know, they can only go to all inclusive, um, all inclusive hotels. And here you are going to Italy and to Greece and to Colombia with your with your kids that are under two years old. And she thought that it would be empowering to other parents. And obviously she was right. <laughs> What's the feedback you've been getting from those other parents? I mean, it's been all great feedback. So many people have thanked me because, you know, I do provide all the itineraries for our trips to make it easier for other parents to replicate exactly what we're doing if they're not planners themselves. And they've just said, thank you. Thank you for being a voice for validating the fact that I'm not crazy because, you know, I want to take my child to, you know, Thailand all the way across the world or you know, have my kid do a certain adventure that maybe some people have looked at them a little crazy for wanting to do. And they find val validation in finding this community with us and all the other parents that do you know, support our account and saying that, hey, we found this community of like-minded parents that also like to explore the world with their kids and you know, go on trips that you know, may not be the norm um, when it comes to what people think of as a family vacation. Yeah, it's not going to Disneyland, that's for sure. Listen, could your family be any more beautiful? Like those girls Aww. are so <laughs> gorgeous. Um, how, how easy is it to plan a trip where everybody's going to be engaged? Because, you know, you're the parent, you're traveling with the kids, you're like, okay, how do we find something that everybody's going to enjoy? Um, and that will be memorable for all the right reasons. How do you go about doing that? Do you get their input? And what do they think about all this traveling that they're doing? Yes, especially at this age, I definitely get their input. They know how to use Google and they go on there and they search for things to do and they give me a list and we basically make sure that we include one must do item for each person in the family on each trip. And then, you know, also being, uh, you know, being an adult is compromising and they have to learn that too. So, you know, maybe the thing that my husband wants to do they may not be 100% thrilled about, but hey, we they got to choose something that they wanted to do on the trip. So we're all making sure that everyone is happy when we leave a destination. And that's something I think is just important when raising kids in general. Um, but they get to pick something that they want to do. We all do. And it just makes it, you know, a great trip for everyone. And then they also find things that maybe they thought they weren't interested in that we chose to put on the itinerary. And then they do like it. Or maybe sometimes they don't yeah. also. And it's okay. Because it's all part life. of the experience. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and you're building compromise as well. So how many, let's tell you now, how many countries, Monet, have you visited? Ooh. How many trips have you, have you any idea or have you lost track? I, I definitely, I know they've, 
for sure probably been to at least 35 countries, but I'm not. What? Oh my yes. God. There's nowhere left. I joke, I joke. <laughs> and what's on, the, what's on top for the rest of this year? So we're actually going to Senegal over the summer. Um, so we're really looking forward to that. That's our next big trip coming up. And how many a year do you typically take? Um, it really depends. I mean, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you must homeschool your kids. I do not homeschool at all. That is not for me. There are so many school breaks. You know, there's so much time to go on trips and every trip doesn't have to be, you know, a one or a two week trip. We love our little weekend getaways where we go away for like, you know, just a long three day weekend. So I would say we probably go somewhere, you know, every other month. You know, at wow. least as a family, with all four of us going. And some of those are, you know, just down the street, a four hour drive away. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's you know, across the country and sometimes it is across the world. But we're very blessed and we prioritize travel, um, which has allowed us to be able to travel so much. Yeah, we have to go. Is this your full time, by the way? It is. Excellent. Gosh, when you do what you love, it's such a joy. Where do we find yes. you in social media so we can stalk your albums? <laughs> So you can find us on, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, all under The Traveling Child. Perfect. Thank you so much, Rashi. You're inspiring me. My daughter says she wants to go to, to, to France. So, Oh, my gosh. I have actually on my Instagram, I have a mini vlog on me and my daughter. We did our mommy and me trip to Paris last year. So you'll have to check it out because... That was by far one of our favorite trips ever. Done and done. I'm there. I'm going to follow you right after this and have a look. Thank you so much, Mune. Nice to meet you. And thanks for talking to us this morning. Thank you for having me. Have a great day. All right. Travel vlogger Mune Hambrick with us this morning. Coming up, Paris has this JCDC's Parish national winner, Matthew Owen, Dylan White. Is that right? I'll soon tell you. Soon come back.